everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be trying out these Artistro brush paint pens. These are water-based acrylic brush pens and they come in eight normal colours and eight metallic colours and I really like this packaging and you can see on the back all of the different colours and just a disclaimer Artistro did send me these for free to try but all of the opinions are my own and if we just open up a marker you can see the nib is quite juicy. That's some really great focusing going on there. Really pro YouTube work. Anyway, yeah, you can see the brush and they are really, really flexible. And if you press lightly at the tip, you get a fine point. I think we all know how brush pens work, but never mind. And you can get a variation of lines. And these pens, I'm pretty sure, are designed for lettering and calligraphy in mind. But as you can see by my attempt there, that is not my strong suit, so I'm not actually going to be doing some lettering and calligraphy today, but maybe I will do some in the future and try and learn how to do it because that'll be a really fun time because I probably won't be able to do it very well. So I'm just swatching out the pens right now and yeah, if you know me, you know I don't really like swatching, but because this is a product review, probably good to do. So these are the colours and the ink is really, really juicy ink paint. I'm not quite sure. The paint or whatever's inside them is really juicy and you don't get a lot of streaks which is really nice and here are the metallic colours as you can see very very shiny some of the metallic colours have a lot more of the silver pigment in than others but yeah it, they do come out really really nice and here's me trying the brush lettering again just, just doesn't really work when I try and do it but here you can see how shiny they are go and you can see how pigmented and vibrant the other normal colours are. So I thought I would try to do some swatches on some black paper. It's quite hard to film black paper, I haven't got the art of doing that so I didn't do my piece of artwork on black paper but I would probably like to do some pieces on black paper and if I do I'll probably post them on my Instagram, link down below. But yeah, you can see how vibrant these are on black paper, especially with the metallics, the gold and the pink and the kind of black silver. I picked it up thinking it was the normal silver. And I think this would be a really good for like signs. And also you could probably do a nice firework picture with these on some black paper. Fireworks coming up soon. Here's just me just, just not really knowing how to use these pens properly and just making some little scribbles. And here is the white. I was slightly disappointed with how the white was. It wasn't quite as pigmented as I would expect. You have to go over it again, but it's still pretty decent. It still works nicely. And here is some fancy B-roll footage of the brush pens. And this is the blue metallic. And I just really love the look of these on black paper. So I would definitely be doing some art on black paper with these pens in the future. But yeah, they are really satisfying. But let's get on with some art on some white paper because that's much easier to film. So for this, I decided to do a deer kind of based on autumn slash fall because we are in the middle of October right now. And I just decided to color it with the brush pens and to color it with lots of different marks because of the fur of the deer. I was just following along the fur and just adding layers and these dried quite quickly and they do layer quite nicely and what I ended up doing is using the white because the white wasn't necessarily very pigmented or very vibrant I used that to kind of mix and blend a little bit I used, almost used it as a blender rather than a white itself and it kind of desaturated some of the colours which you kind of would expect anyway just to add the highlights of the deer without them being too vibrant so I'm using pretty much most of the colours, the orange, the brown, the red, the yellow, and also some of the turquoisey blue colour as well, just to add a little bit of depth in. At the moment it looks a little bit a little bit scary. Does this piece does go through some very awkward, scary looking phases? And I did use the black in this one. I know that I don't usually use black, but I wasn't really mixing the colours very well. I, I wasn't mixing the colours, so I was because I wasn't sure how that would work. I was just using the black to, to do the eyes and the nose and the very deep shadows, which is very unusual for me to do, to do that. I am thinking, by the way, of doing a video about why I don't use black for shading. 
um, and comparing it to using like deep blues and browns. Uh, let me know in the comments below if that's a video you'd like, because I've been getting a couple of comments recently about I don't know how to shade without using black, so things like that. So let me know in the comments below if that's a video that you would like. So now I'm just going over the lighter areas with the white and if you see what I mean I was kind of using it to blend out the colours a little bit using it to just soften soften the marks I guess so yeah I'm not sure how I like this piece of art at the end I kind of went through phases of liking it and phases of not liking it which is pretty normal for me anyway but I did really like these pens and I am going to be using them again and I would like to create something quite a bit bigger with these pens and also, like I said, practice some lettering. I think these pens would be really good with some watercolour as a background and then over the top using these as lettering or adding some detail. So that is something I might try. But yeah, I was really impressed with how these pens work and I forgot to mention how much they retail at. So I will leave the price up on the screen at how much they retail at because I'm a really great YouTuber and I forgot to check that. <laughs> But if you would like to buy these pens, I will leave links in the description. I have a couple of affiliate links, so, and also a discount code as well. So yeah, I do have some other Artistro videos on my channel as well. I will leave a link to that playlist up above and down below if you want to see what their other paint pens are like. They have paint pens that are sort of like Posca pens, but are a bit of a cheaper alternative, but they work in a very similar way. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katie. I make art videos. Obviously, it's a bit of a silly thing for me to say, but I say it anyway. I do challenges, speed paints, some product reviews. Like I said, I've got some other Artistro products on my channel. Um, I recently did a DIY video based on Squid Game. So if you're into Squid Game, go check that out. And if you're new, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you like this video, you know, emotionally, do leave it a like down below as that really does help me out. So once I had done the body of the deer, I went on to the antlers. And for the antlers, I added some leaves and like berries to kind of make it look a little bit less plain. Kind of the idea of deer with stuff hanging from the antlers is quite a popular thing in making art. So... That's what I did and I also use the Artistro standard fine tip paint pens for this to see how they would react over the top and they go over the top really nicely or I think it's because they're both acrylic water based. Um, I think these brush pens are slightly different formula because you don't have to activate them or really shake them that much. They just kind of work. They don't have the, the noisy thing inside. If you get what I mean, you know what I mean, the noisy thing when you shake a paint pen, it kind of makes a clicking noise. They don't have that, so I think the formula is slightly different, but they do complement each other quite well. You can use the paint, the normal paint pens on top of these brush pens. That's absolutely fine. And yeah, I am, I think overall I am pleased with how this turned out, but I do want to try and make something a little bit a little bit better and a bit more ambitious next time and maybe try some lettering although I'm very impatient when it comes to lettering I have never really done that much calligraphy but yeah let me know in the comments below if you would like me to try calligraphy and just using the metallic green for the leaves and then I went over it later on with the fine tip and yeah it's quite quite a simple piece but I think I prefer the body of the deer to the antlers I don't think I think it's the antlers that I don't really like I think that just didn't really work out too well. I think it was the leaves. I'm not very good at drawing leaves. I've realised that leaves, I don't know why, they're pretty simple shapes, but I always tend to, to mess them up. But yeah, that is really all I've got to say for this video. So thank you so incredibly much for watching and thank you for listening to me ramble for about 10 minutes and the links to the product are in the description below. And yeah, I will shut up now and see you in the next video. Bye for now.